YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Business. Out here on the Saturday morning. Headed down to Mount Crawford, Virginia. Walmart. So it's been a minute. I'll tell you some things that's going on. What I've been up to for these last two and a half weeks. And, uh... Yeah, let's talk about it, but before we get into that, let's get this out the way. Ladies and gentlemen, I know you can be anywhere else on YouTube. The fact that you clicked on my channel is greatly appreciated. Alright, so uh what's been going on? So hi. A lot's been going on. Um USA, USA, USA. Boy, boy, boy. Let me tell you, boy. They still losing drivers, boy. They really are. They really are. And now with these fuel prices and the rates are dropping, you know, everywhere. So if we if we thought the tra if we thought the low board was trash before. I don't even know what to tell you what it is like now. Is there a word for below trash? It's just downright disgusting. You really have to pick and choose your loads out here. Now, really, at least the way I feel, it really is like surviving week by week, you know. Um, the last week, last week for me was good. I grossed over eight, you know what I'm saying? So that was a good week. Um, I spent a good amount of, um, I spent a good amount of money in fuel though. So, but I'll take a week like that. You know what I'm saying? That that was a good week. Uh, this week right here, this load will be my last load for the week. I had one, two, three. Hold on, let me had a, had a load that I dropped. Sunday, I left out the house Tuesday with a load, dropped that load, so that's two loads. Picked up a load Wednesday, okay, so this is load number four for me. All right, so load number four. Um, ah, two of my loads were, no, 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 I take that back. Only one of my loads was under a thousand, which was the load that I dropped uh, Sunday. So um, this should be a okay, okay week. Uh, I really didn't spend too much fuel, so this week is gonna be okay. So it ain't gonna be over eight. I think I might be somewhere around, somewhere around like fifty five hundred for the week. So. Not good, but it's not it's not terrible. So it's, it's next week. Next week is next week is what I'm you know what I'm saying, what I'm worried about because I'm I'm taking just a little time off. I gotta get my windshield replaced. And so honestly I don't even know when I'm leaving the house or if I'm leaving the house next week. So but looking at the load board. I ain't really didn't see anything that was worth really moving. And the stuff that is paying like two grand and above, which is very few, um, is heavy. And it ain't really, none of those loads is paying a fuel surcharge. So, like, they have loads coming from Aurora, Illinois, down to, um, I think it's Mount Crawford, you know, Walmart. Basically, they Walmart loads. They pay $2,700, but they 40,000 pounds coming from Northern Illinois. So that's like, I think the mileage was like eight, 800 miles. And you gotta go, you know what I'm saying? You gotta go through the mountains. And nobody's, well, somebody is. I'm just not trying to carry that much heavy load through the mountains and for that long of a distance because 
that's going to be terrible for my fuel costs, for real. I mean, I'm going to eat up a lot of fuel doing a load like that. So, um, you know, still try to find light loads that pay good, but right now, those loads are hard to find. The reason I did good last week is because I had two two loads that paid over three grand. So, between those two, you know what I'm saying, it was six. And then I tacked on, you know, two more loads and brought it over eight. So, but finding those loads like that, they far and few in between. They don't pop up every week. They, um, one was a shoe load. The other load was um, the Texas load that I dropped earlier in the week, which was over three grand. I mean, you're going to find those loads, but a load paying three grand, but you got to travel, you know, 1,500 miles, that's, that's not really good, you know? It's not, that's like, you know, barely $2 a mile. And, you know, how do you calculate USA cut your fuel costs? It's just not a good load. So, um, trying to find something, uh, the $3,000 load I had last week, other than the Texas load dropping in, uh, Pennsylvania was, um, uh, I picked up in New Jersey and took that load to Macon, Georgia. It was two, two pickups. It was a shoe load. Typically shoe loads pay great and they're light. So yeah, I'll be I'll be on the lookout for those loads, but like I said they just don't pop up that often. They far and few in between. They really are. So um, yo, it's like where are you gonna find the loads that you know is gonna cover your gas costs, I mean your fuel costs cover your your um, your truck payment and your um, fixed costs and then you make a decent profit that's that's what that's what you, you know you're trying to find I mean that's how it always been but in this market now it's crucial you know what I'm saying we all came in like I came in last year when the, the market was great and the market was great. And you know, you had people talking about, you know, hey, the market is great right now, you better put money away because it's gonna change. It's gonna change, and, you know, for us newcomers. I mean, I knew it wasn't gonna stay the same, but, you know, nobody anticipated the, the, the fuel prices to be what they are. Yeah, I knew the rates was gonna come down eventually, but I don't think anybody anticipated paying four or five dollars for fuel i don't think nobody anticipated that so now you've got the rate change the rates going down and these high fuel prices and it's, it's putting a hurting on a lot of people after one mile left. a lot of people i probably can see a lot of people um there's already been people that turn in their truck just because you know it's, it's not happening especially it's not happening it's not right now the way the low board looks you know what I'm saying? It's not happening here at USA. It's not. It's not. Um, one of my partners, he um, left and went to JB Hunt. I got another partner that's already at JB Hunt. He talking about they load boy sucks. But he shoot me loads all the time. And he's still able to book and have weeks between seven eight thousand you know what i'm saying gross so even would they worse would they, would they load for talking about not being great he's still able to book loads that that uh where he can have weeks a total of eight um eight grand or more plus they get a hell of a fuel discount you know um, he showed me, um, where he got fueled and almost, you know, at a, I think it was either at a pilot or a blind day, it was almost 90 cents off, you know what I'm saying? So, not only do they still got good loads to book, but they got 
a good fuel discount program over there. So, you know, he gets to save money on fuel. And, you know, they got dedicated uh, routes over there. So the dude that just left, you know, my homeboy who just left USA, he's going on to the Walmart account at JB Hunt. Now, I mean, they, they looking for people. They are looking for people because they trying to secure that account long term. Um, and for right now, they pay, uh, I think he said it's nine eighty a day. Um, you could work seven days a week. Um, and they, they're giving you an FS, you know, fuel surcharge. So with the fuel surcharge, you're still gonna make over a thousand dollars a day. And unlike the dedicated stuff that we get over here from time to time, over there, you get paid straight from Walmart. So the 980 a day that you get, it's a straight 980. You're getting paid directly from Walmart. JB Hunt is not taking no percentage of that money. So it's straight money. So even after breaking down his expenses, he's still pulling, you know, between three, three and 35 a week. And that's after, you know, uh, fuel and all that and the truck payment and stuff. I mean, he got an SFI truck, so his payment's higher than mine. So, um, yeah, I, I want to go. I ain't going to lie. But, you know what I'm saying, I would tell. And for me to take my truck over there, you know, it's going to cost. It's going to cost. You know, Frank Nettie just did it. Frank just took his, you know, he just paid till so he could move his truck to wherever he's going at. And he paid 13, $1,300. That's what he paid to move his truck. So, um, you know, it's going to cost 1300 for me to move my truck to wherever I want to go. Now, uh, you know, and some people say, well, why don't you just go get an SFI truck? They don't have any trucks. They have a year-long wait. You know what I'm saying? It's a year-long wait to get into a town truck. Um, my only other option, but everybody's like that. I think all the leasing companies are like that. Could I see, you know what I'm saying? I could see, uh, call around and see like if I can get uh, a lease straight from the dealer, could. But hell, they don't have no trucks either. So I'm kind of like stuck. Stuck. And I do want to take my truck. I really do. So right now, I um, just got to deal with it. Make the best out of the situation that I can. Is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I have no doubt that I can do it. It's just going to be, it's going to be, some weeks is going to be tight. Good thing when I was with Family Dollar, I put some money away. And you know what I'm saying? I got some um, pocket change coming up. That's what I'm gonna call it. I got some pocket change coming up sometime in the next couple of months. So uh, that should tie me over and roll me through. And you know, I should be able to do what I need to do. But right now, I'm telling you, this ain't it. This is not, not here. This ain't it. We been complaining about the low board even in the good times, so, um, and they swear, you know what I'm saying, the USA started off their last meeting talking about we paid some of the best rates to our RC drivers in the country, and I don't know how they doing their research, <laughs> because every low board that I done seen and compared it to USA, uh, yeah, USA is always down at the bottom. So, um, I don't know what type of research they gonna do, but hey, I mean, they, they say they did to come to that conclusion. But, um, you know, I do my own research and I can see with my own eyes the difference in the rates and the difference in the freight. So, We'll just leave that where it's at. So, um, 
that's what it is for now. I will definitely keep y'all updated on you know how I'm doing and all that stuff. But um, I don't. It's gonna be a lot of, and not just people at USA. It's people, period, um, who came into the game while you know. Well, I should say who came into the trucking game while the market was good, and you had everybody saying, "Hey." It's not like this all the time. It's not like this all the time. And so I hope everybody, you know, listen because there's gonna be a lot of people who who's not gonna make it through this. You know, we got double whammy. We got whammy by the by the um by the price of freight going down. Then we got whammy by the fuel prices. Everybody seen first but nobody seen the second so I don't know how many people gonna make it through this we'll see you know what I'm saying I don't even know the, even the smaller companies you know what I'm saying like you got 25 50 trucks I don't even see you know what I'm saying how they gonna make it through so um it's gonna be interesting to say the least and hopefully this doesn't last long you know what I'm saying um, they talk about you know this could last through the year we only a quarter through this year, so it's gonna be a long year if uh, if if nothing, if everything stays as it is now, it's gonna be a long year. It's gonna be a really long year. But I'm gonna still be out here doing my thing, still trying to take on that six figure income. That's what I've been on since the beginning of the year. Six figure income, six figure take home, not six figure income, six figure take home. That's what I'm trying to do this year, but, uh, you know, the headwinds, i.e. fuel prices and, and, uh, down freight, <laughs> definitely putting, uh, putting damper in what I want to do, and, you know what I'm saying, in my goal for this year, so, uh, I still believe I'm on track to do that, uh, we just gonna have to wait to see how the rest of this year plays out, so, all I got for y'all right now, you know, uh, want to give a shout out, you know what I'm saying, um, to the family of Jamar Holland, if y'all didn't know, that's a trucker named Jay, uh, you know, he passed away a couple weeks ago, um, due to, uh, kidney failure, so, um, my condolences go out to his family, his wife, his kids, he was a young dude, 27 years old, man. He he gone. Uh, he really started to find himself these last, you know, couple of years. So, um, you know, like I said, my condolences go out to his family. And um, just found out another YouTuber that I watch pretty frequently. Uh, you know, he's taking a break from trucking and YouTube. And that's uh, Scooby Doo. Um, he's been out the truck for a while now. Um, to help his wife and now you know yesterday he said you know he's uh, due to the change in the status of the company he was working for and him not you know they told him he wouldn't be able to get home as often as he wanted to so you know he said he's gonna step away from trucking for a minute um, and then he said he's also gonna step away from YouTube so uh, I wish Scoob all the best. Him and his wife, you know, they're going through some things um, with her family. So, um, wish him all the luck, best of luck. Um, I'm going to miss his videos, but um, you got to do what you got to do. Just go ahead and take care of yourself and your family. These videos be down. So, um, you know, good luck to, to him and his family. So, uh, yeah, if you like the videos, definitely like the videos. Definitely subscribe to the channel, support, support. And, um, yo, yeah, we'll talk to you next time. Oh, and I'm going to make a separate video. Got an update on my business credit. You know, I'm trying to get that going uh, so I can do bigger and better things. So, but I'm going to make that a separate video. So, we'll talk to you guys next time.